Hi everyone, Miss Alessandra here with another story time for you from home. So I hope you'll join me today and I hope you are having an okay time at home. We miss you very much and hope to see you soon, but this is the way we have to do things and hopefully you're having a good time with it. So we're going to start story time today. We are going to first begin with our hello song. So if you know it, you can sing it with me. If you don't, I bet you can follow along. It goes like this. This is how we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is how we wave hello, 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 hello. This is how we clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. This is how we clap hello, 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 hello. This is how we tap hello, tap hello, tap hello. This is how we tap hello, 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 hello. Hello everyone, great job. We always start with our hello song and then sing a song called open shut them. So hands go up, close them like this. Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Now creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. To your little mouth but do not let them in. And we hide our hands behind our back. Can you hide your hands? Great job. Today's story time, we're going to read a book about puddles. It's a real rainy day outside, so I thought this book would be great. And then we're gonna read a story called The Adventures of Huggy and Stick. And it's about two friends, a stuffed animal and a stick. Isn't that silly? So I hope you'll continue listening. Here we go. Our first story today is Puddles by Jonathan London. Puddles by Jonathan London. All night, the slash of rain and the flash of lightning and the kaboom of thunder rattling the house and all the windows. We cuddle between the fright and glee and want it to stop and never stop. In the morning it does, like a curtain rising on a shiny new day, a day of brightness and blue, a sky wiped clean of the last cloud. We walk outside to the sweet chatter of birds filling the trees and breathe deep the clear air. Watch out for puddles! Mama hollers, don't get wet. Needles glisten, listen. The drip, drip, drip from the eaves and the leaves. Look, the sparkle of a million suns in a million drops. Do you see all those sparkles of the droplets on the trees? We follow baby rivers trickling and snaking down ditches into the fields. Here's the baby river. Puddles, big ones, little ones, long ones, skinny ones, pieces of sky on the ground. It's time to puddle jump. Splash, splash, splash. Do you like to jump in puddles? I love jumping in puddles. Mud sucks at our boots. Slup, slup, slup. We kneel and watch worms squirm and stretch and leave tiny trails in the muck like sloppy writing. They're learning the ABCs of weather, of rain and sun and mud. Then we slog down through wet grass toward the pond and what lives there, celebrating all the new water and new life. And we have a worm over here. 
And then what's that? A butterfly. At the pond, it's time for the frogs to play. And we want to play with them. Leap, frog, leap, frog, leap. Hop, flop, pop. What do frogs say? Can you make a frog sound? Ribbit. Birds flap from the trees, and we think the trees are applauding. We bow and then say, bye, frogs, and turn toward home. Puddles, big ones, little ones, long ones, skinny ones, pieces of sky on the ground. It's time to puddle jump again. We can hit every puddle from the pond to the meadow. Splash, splash, splash. Look at all these puddles. All the times they can go splash, splash, splash. We slog through wet grass and suck mud with our boots. Slup. Slup, slup, skip beneath leaves and eaves, drip, drip, drip. And drip in the doorway, shouting, we're home. You're wet, Mama howls. On a morning after rain, it's time to soak in a hot bath. Wiggle dry in a warm towel, get dressed and drink hot chocolate. And then run outside again. To puddle jump, splash, splash, splash. Did you puddle jump today? I hope you enjoyed our first story, Puddles, by Jonathan London, because today is a real rainy day for me. Is it raining where you are, or is it sunny? Well, we're going to move on to some songs, and I bet you'll know this first one. It's called The Itsy Bitsy Spider or you might know it as the Eensy Weensy Spider. Whichever version you know, you will still know the movements. We'll sing both versions starting with Itsy Bitsy Spider. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. out came the sun and dried up all the rain and our itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again now we're going to change the words to eensy weensy on the count of three one two three the eensy weensy spider went up the water spout down came the rain and washed the spider out out came the sun and dried up all the rain and our eensy weensy spider went up the spout again. Great job. Our next song you might not know. This is called Rain is Falling and I'm going to teach it to you in three steps. Because rain falls, we are going to use our fingers to fall down. Okay, so it's going to go like this when we go rain is falling just like that then when it hits the ground it makes a sound called splash and we're gonna clap splash but if there's a lot of rain there's a lot of splashes on the ground and that makes the sound pitter patter so for pitter patter we are going to clap on our legs like this pitter patter pitter patter are you ready Okay, here we go. Rain is falling, splash. Rain is falling, pitter patter, pitter patter, splash. Rain is falling, splash. Rain is falling, pitter patter, pitter patter, splash. Great job. Are you guys ready for another story? All right, we're gonna get started with our next story. Here we go. Now, I hope you'll join me in reading The Epic Adventures of Huggy and Stick by Drew Daywalt, the same author that wrote The Day the Crayons Quit. Are you ready? Okay. The Epic Adventures of Huggy and Stick. Huggy and Stick. 
stick belonged to a little boy named Reese. And like many things that belong to little boys, they spent a good part of their time being lugged around in a backpack. That is, until the day an open zipper, a large bump on the sidewalk, and Reese's bicycle combined to cre create an accident. This is their story, and it isn't pretty. So here's Reese. Here's his backpack. Here's Stick. And here's Huggy inside. Sunday. Lost. Dear Diary, I love Huggy. He is so cool. Today I fell out of Reese's backpack and Huggy tried to save me but we both fell out. And then the rain washed us out to sea and now we're in the circle shaped super bouncy boat. Dear Diary, I hate Stick. I really do. I tried to push him out of the backpack today, but his pointy head snagged a loose thread on my paw and we both fell out. Now I'm writing this from a dirty tire floating in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So here's Stick, who really loves Huggy, and here's Huggy, who doesn't like Stick. Dear Diary, best trip ever. Today, we were rescued by these nice guys in super awesome hats. I told Huggy they must be some kind of super awesome hat club. They showed us their cool swords and Huggy gave them his button. Then Huggy kind of barfed on one with the biggest hat and they had us try out their diving board. Strange though, they sailed away after we dove into the ocean. Oh well, so much fun. Dear Diary, Worst trip ever. Today we were captured by pirates. I was robbed of my lucky gold button. I got seasick on their captain and then they made us walk the plank. Now stuffing's coming out of my butt. Wonderful. Monday, Australia. Dear Diary, Today, we swam ashore and met a giant mouse with a pocket on her tummy. Is it a giant mouse? What do you think that animal is? What do you think this is? That one right there. She gave us a ride, but it was so bumpy that Huggy fell out. I didn't want him to get injured, so I broke his fall. Thank goodness I was there or he could have been hurt. That's the letter from Stick. What do you think Huggy will say? He doesn't look happy. Dear Diary, there's a stick up my butt. I hate my life. Oh no, he's not happy. Tuesday, Asia. Dear Diary, today we rode on a plane. Instead of going home, though, we ended up in this magical forest where a giant teddy bear tried to kiss me. I think Huggy likes me more than he admits because he got jealous and pulled me away before the teddy bear could kiss me. Dear Diary, today a giant panda tried to eat stick. That's what pandas eat, sticks. Somehow, Mr. Wood for Brains thought he was going to get a kiss. I'm not sure why I saved him, but I did. Unfortunately, the bear didn't appreciate me taking away his lunch. And what do you think he did? To Huggy. Wednesday, Europe. Dear Diary, another great day. This morning we hopped a train and I made Huggy a new arm. It's even better than his old one if you ask me. When we got off the train, Huggy said he wanted to find his own way home, but he tripped on the train tracks and I grabbed him and saved his life. There was a TV reporter there, and now everyone's calling me a hero. Because we were now famous, we got to meet the queen. Did you know she has a sword, too? I definitely need to get a sword. Huggy's still excited. Uh, Stick is still excited. Dear Diary, I don't believe this. I almost get run over by a train and Stick gets knighted by the Queen of England? In what universe is that fair? I chop him into little pieces with my new arm, but it only seems to be good for eating hearty soups. What is his arm made of? 
What do you think it is? It's a spork. Thursday, Africa. Dear Diary, after a boat ride, then a trip across a desert on a camel, we ended up in the jungle. How cool is that? After running a fun race, we found a giant lake and jumped in to cool off. Huggy began to swim home, but it turned out we didn't have to swim because this huge fish offered us a free ride in his mouth. I love today. This is the helpful fish. What kind of fish do you think that might be? Is it a fish? <gasps> it's a shark! Dear Diary, this is getting crazy. Today we ended up in a jungle where a furious charging rhinoceros would have destroyed us both had I not grabbed stick and jumped into the ocean to get away. The rhino shouldn't feel too badly that we escaped though because after jumping into the water, we were promptly eaten by a shark. My only hope is that sharks are allergic to stuffed animals. So they got eaten by a shark. Huggy thought, of, uh, Stick thought it was a fish. Friday, Antarctica. Dear Diary, holy moly, did you know sharks are allergic to stuffed animals? And he spit us up, so cool. Still enjoying our trip around the world. We swam to an iceberg. There was little elves in tuxedos living there, so cute. I wanted to eat them up. Unfortunately, they wanted to eat us too. Dear Diary, where do I start? The barfing shark, the vicious stuffed animal eating penguins? I taste like socks. How could they not know that? Or the long swim to South America from the freezing Antarctic? <sighs> I need a nap. So, Huggy is not happy. He's not having fun like Stick. Saturday, South America. Dear Diary, can you say amazing? Because that's what the rainforest is. All those cool animals and those nice people who turned me into a sippy straw. I even saved Huggy from those mean fish that tried to eat him. Golly gumdrops, Huggy and I make a great team. So what kind of animals do we see here? We see he's wrapped in a snake. There's a leopard, a sloth. Look at all these different animals. Do you think Huggy's happy? He doesn't look happy, right? Let's see what he has to say. Dear Diary, can you say horrible? Because that's what the rainforest is. Poisonous frogs, bugs as big as my head, and fish that eat anything, including stuffed bunny legs. Stop trying to eat me, world. Not only that, I had to save Stick from some people who hollowed him out and used him as a blowgun to shoot at monkeys and sloths all morning. Weirdest trip ever. Sunday, North America. Dear Diary, we landed back home today. This has been the best trip ever, and I never would have made it if it weren't for Huggy, my best friend. What does Huggy have to say? Dear Diary, Stick slept through the llama ride, the train ride, two bus rides, the small plane trip, then 200 miles on the back of a very determined chihuahua. If I never go anywhere with that smiling piece of wood again, it will be too soon. So let's see. They went on a train. They rode a llama. They rode a bus. They took a chihuahua ride. Look at that. The next day, here they are back with Reese. And Huggy says, stick. No, don't pull that thread. Relax, it's just a loose string. But is it a loose string? What do you think's gonna happen? <gasps> you have got to be kidding me, Stick says as they float away in the ocean. Uh, the Huggy says, and then Stick says, cool. And that's the epic adventures of Huggy and Stick by Drew Daywalt.
Did you enjoy our stories today? Did you like puddles? Did you like the adventures of Huggy and Stick? So we're gonna end today by doing some shaker songs. If you don't have a shaker like this at home, you might be able to find something around your house that makes a shaky sound. So look around and find something that might sound like this. All right, have you found something? So our first song today with our shakers is Egg Shakers Up. Here we go. Egg shakers up, egg shakers down, egg shakers dancing all around the town. Put them on your shoulders, put them on your heads, shake them on your tummies, and then put them to bed. All right, let's try again in pieces. Here we go. Egg shakers up, egg shakers down. First step. Now, egg shakers dancing all around the town, and you go round and round. Second step. Now you're going to Dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your heads, dance them on your tummies, and then finally put them to bed. Okay, all together now. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. Egg shakers up, egg shakers down, egg shakers dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your heads, dance them on your tummies and put them to bed. Great job. The next song we're gonna do today is called Going to Kentucky. So normally when I do this, I have some music in the background, but we're gonna try it without the music and I'm gonna try and sing it. So it goes like this. We're going to Kentucky, we're going to the fair to see the senoritas with flowers in their hair. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Shake it to the bottom, shake it to the top, then turn around and turn around until it's time to stop. So I'm gonna take that in pieces for you now, ready? Here we go. We're going to Kentucky, we're going to the fair to see the senoritas with flowers in their hair. That's part one. Now we're gonna shake it. So shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Part three, here we go. Shake it to the bottom, shake it to the top, and then turn around and turn around until it's time to stop. Great, we're gonna put that all together and we're gonna sing this three times. Each time it's gonna get faster. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to Kentucky, we're going to the fair to see the senoritas with flowers in their hair. So shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Shake it to the bottom, shake it to the top, then turn around and turn around until it's time to stop. Now a little bit faster this time. We're going to Kentucky, we're going to the fair to see the senoritas with flowers in their hair. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Shake it to the bottom, shake it to the top, then turn around and turn around until it's time to stop. Great job, but now we're gonna do it as fast as you can. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to Kentucky, we're going to the fair to see the senoritas with flowers in their hair. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all you can. Shake it like a milkshake and do the best you can. Shake it to the bottom, shake it to the top, then turn around and turn around until it's time to stop. There you go. Was that fun? All right, we got one last shaker song, and this is called Popcorn Kernels. It goes like this. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop. 
two, three, pop. So we're gonna break this up. First, we go like this. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels. And then we're gonna cover it up to make it in a pot. In a pot, in a pot. Now we're gonna shake above each shoulder. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them. And then they pop until they pop until they pop. Now put it all together. Here we go. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels. In a pot, in a pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them, shake them. Till they pop, till they pop. Did you catch that popcorn? Okay, I hope you enjoyed story time today. And hopefully I will see you guys soon. But we have reached the end and we're gonna sing our goodbye song now. Okay, here we go. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends and wave goodbye like this. Goodbye my friends, see you soon.